welcome back to my channel so i did not make an intro for this video but in today's video as you can see by the title i am going to be doing a lymph check for those of you who don't know i did do a big chop eight months ago and my hair has grew back so healthy i do not regret it i just love the way my hair is going back by doing protective hairstyles not using no heat to my hair like that and it's just I just it's something I don't regret. So if you think about a big chop, don't question it. Just go for it. And before you know, your hair's gonna go back. So also in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I managed to get my short hair into a high ponytail. I didn't go into detail because I do have a video on how to do a high extended ponytail. I am gonna link that video down below. I am gonna speed through that part of the video. I'm not gonna talk too much about it so i hope you guys enjoy let me know what you guys think about my hair length and the hair growth and how healthy my hair looks i think it looks really good and really well i've been maintaining and doing really good i haven't been putting no heat to it i've been keeping my hair in braids wigs and all of that so if you're gonna do a big chop do it don't just add extra heat to your hair and stuff for no reason because other than that it'll be pointless like when i did get my pixie haircut i felt like it was too much maintenance and i did need to use a lot of heat than i thought i would have so for that reason i did not wear my short hair out that much so what i did was i kept it in braids i kept wearing wigs i don't really do too much to my hair and i don't put a lot of heat to my hair i do grease my hair a lot using hair growth oil you know i really take care of it underneath my wig so that's another reason why my hair is growing back the way it is and i'm absolutely in love enough talking i'm gonna get into the video and show y'all my hair growth over eight months let me know what you guys think all right key so first thing first i let this leave-in conditioner olive oil leave-in conditioner sit in my hair for about 15 20 minutes to soften up my ponytail because I did have a hard ponytail and it got to be free spray. Y'all know what that's like. So then I'm going to wash my hair with this olive oil shampoo and silicone conditioner. The ponytail has softened up, so now let's get started. Alright Key, so here I am shampooing my hair with the olive oil shampoo. I love this shampoo. I've been using it since I was young and for years now. It is rich in natural fatty acids of olive oil. It is very efficient in moisturizing and nourishing and adds protective layers to moisture in your hair. So I really recommend this shampoo. It lathers up really well. A little goes a long way and it gets your job done for me. So I know y'all see my hair is green or blue. Reason being is because I did do a blue-black rinse before I did my last ponytail. So this looks gross, I know. But I'm about to wash it out and then go in with some silicone conditioner. Then while that's in, I'm going to detangle my hair and then let it sit while I wash the rest of my body. So now that that's finished, I'm going to go with my Baby Bliss Pro Blow Dryer. And you guys, I don't necessarily put the heat on my hair, directly on my hair. I do air dry it and while I'm brushing and detangling it in the between. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about. I just never want to put heat to my hair. And that's what also has my hair growing that I don't put much heat to my hair. And one thing I have to tell you guys is don't be like me. When I was younger, I used to hate clipping my ends. And now I realize as I got older that that is a very important key in hair growth and healthy hair. So I do trim my ends, which is why my ends look so straight. I just never wanted to trim my ends, but it has health and it's very, very important. So ladies, cut them ends because we don't need our hair different lengths and looking thin on the top and healthy at the bottom just trim your ends so your hair can grow in evenly and healthy look at me looking crazy 
y'all my hair is so thick now i love it and it just really works so this is how it looks and like i said i don't usually do this if i wasn't doing a ponytail this wouldn't be happening but this is what's happening this is my two favorite hand protecting that i highly recommend then i'm gonna go in with my baby puss pro flat iron one strand one swipe is all i need with this flat iron it's really really good so so while flat iron, what's most important to me is getting my roots straight. I don't really care to have my ends straight and all that. I just want my roots as flat as possible because I am about to do a ponytail. Like I say, you guys, this is not something I do very often. If I'm not doing a ponytail, I braid my hair up or I mold my hair down after washing it. And then I just let it stay flat and just put my stocking cap on, put my wig on. Just very protecting styles is what I do underneath my caps. I don't usually do this. But look at my hair, you guys. This is eight months of growth. Very healthy. Very thick. My hair have never been this thick since high school. I feel like I was holding on to some hair that I was hoping that would get better. And like I said, I really don't regret this haircut because till this day, my hair probably still would have been damaged. And it probably wouldn't have grown as much as it have grown over these past eight months. So this is my head after being flat ironed the whole head look how healthy my hair look you guys remember my hair was in a pixie cut so it is shorter on the sides and in the back my middle was always the longest due to the way i had my pixie cut done but look at this y'all look so thick and healthy i do cut my ends myself so i do want to go to uh, hairstylist find me a hairstylist to go get my ends clipped in the right way even though i feel like i do a good job i just watch youtube on how to clip ends look at me i'm able to tuck it behind my ear y'all before i just could never get an ear tuck <laughs> it was just bald but i'm really really happy with the way my hair is growing and i highly recommend big chop and keeping it up remember no heat clip your ends good shampoo good oil in between i do grease my scalp with olive oil and castor oil and stuff like that but whatever let's get into this ponytail so i just brush it up and i get in as much as i can the flyaways are going to happen because i said my hair was short in the back and the front and along i mean in the side sorry it was short around the whole perimeter except the middle so then i spray some free spray then mold that sucker down i'm not going to talk too much about this because i do have a video on how to do extended high ponytail but y'all guys can watch that for yourselves and see. So I'm just going to speed this up, enjoy the music, and watch what I do. And I'll be right back. So once I molded my hair up the way I wanted to, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to just grab the whole thing all over again and tighten my ponytail because I didn't do the ponytail tight the first time. So this ponytail, you guys, I'm not going to lie, I had to do it like three, four times because my hair was shorter. And I had to keep spraying free spray because the short pieces was trying to come up. They was being real stubborn. But I got them down with some free spray, blow dry it till it's tacky. So I'm going to grab this ponytail up, make it tight through my edges, and I'll be right back when it's time to do the break because that's something to talk about. Oh. 
so it could be extra tacky and don't move for a couple of days then i'm gonna go in with my tissue papers and wrap my hair around y'all i am very dramatic and i'm very like i don't know y'all don't gotta use as many <laughs> tissue papers as i do but this is me this is how many i use i just wrap my whole head up until i'm done and i also do this every night so my ponytail will be stuck and don't move and it just works it makes your ponytails last longer so i use about four or five but anyway after that i'm gonna go with some braiding here y'all this is the part that is a little tricky for me because my ponytail is so thick and so short and blunt cut that it's really hard for me to grip the ponytail and i'm not the best braider when it comes to added extended hair on ex um extensions on hair sorry i'm only good at doing that on my lawn's hair but long story short my braid be looking crazy y'all about to see it right now it looks crazy but at the same time it holds up i just make sure i grip it tight enough to wear my hair my ponytail don't fall off look at that look crazy <laughs> to where my ponytail is don't fall off and it just works for me so i don't care how it look underneath the tissue paper and the tracks as long as it's on and it's sturdy then i go on with a couple of rubber bands to make sure it's extra sturdy i don't know if that helps or not but it helps. i think it does it helps me then i go in with some bobby pins and just pick up a couple of bobby pins and wear my ponytail ends to hold on to the braid a little bit i don't know you guys it just works for me that braid look crazy but now i'm about to wrap it with the tissue paper do some 30 express glue hair glue the same one we use for our lashes I'm going to go in with that, wrap the tracks around it all the way to the top, and then the ponytail is going to be done. <laughs> Alright, so now that I'm at the top, what I do is I take a little bit of hair at the top to cover up the tracks at the top. You know, you know how that goes. So I just wrap it around. This hair is super long, so I do got to wrap it around a bunch of times until I'm satisfied. And then I go with some body pins to give that height that I want. And it just, it's just it. Simple, quick. I love ponytails, you guys. You guys know that. So this is how it came out. My hair looks super thick and healthy. Also, I do do this because my hair is naturally brown. So when I do ponytails, I like my my weave is black. So I like my hair to be black too. And I feel like it makes it look more rich, shiny, and healthy, and just stands out more. So it just looks very good. This is how it came out. Super easy, you guys. I'm gonna link my video down below for more detailed ponytail tutorial for you guys. But this is it, the final look.
all right keys so that is the end of this video this is how my ponytail hair came out and you can't even tell my hair is short like the way i molded it down you can't even tell you can't even tell my hair is as short as it is in the back because that got to be spray molded it down and you know all you gotta do is mold it all you have to do is mold it down and just that's it so this is the finished look i'm sorry i'm on the balcony this is the finished look i hope you guys like it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know if y'all like this video because i would do another eight month later like 16 month length check for y'all so y'all can see the progress of my hair but if you are subscribed to my channel and if you're one of my keys you will see my hair growth process before 16 months so make sure y'all click that subscribe button and like button as well i love y'all so much and i hope you guys like this video bye keys